All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next fight will be amateur Muay Thai with 10 ounce gloves, three two minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This 20 year old has an amateur kickboxing record of one victory, three defeats. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 156.7 pounds. Fighting out of Mesa, Arizona, representing Apex MMA, Jacob Shaptiz. Oh, there's someone you know very well. He just fought one of your guys. A quick turnaround. Do they announce him backwards? No, no, you're right. That's Jacob Shaptiz. That's my apologies. I thought we were on fight number three. This is fight four. Like you said, Jacob Shaptiz. <laughs> Guy that we just prepared for. We had Montana Keats just fight him in MMA three weeks ago in a very closely contested fight. Jacob improved greatly from his past fights that we watched. Um, had a lot of success with Montana in round one. Close round three. Did, did some good stuff. He's a really long, rangy fighter. Don't be fooled by the one three record. This is Muay Thai as well, so this is where he shines. I was just going to say, he is the epitome of not letting a record fool you, especially at the amateur level. You just don't know who you're going to fight. You could be matched up against a guy that he's a one-and-done guy that works at Chiffy Lube, or he could be the next John Jones. So Jacob Schott, he's a lot better than his record implies. He is ultra-tough and moves really well. His last bout, we saw him last month in MMA. Talking about a competitor, now he's mixing it up in Muay Thai. Why not? Came out healthy, so. I want to know how he got a cool name like that after only one fight. Who dubbed him the Slim Reaper? Got his fans behind us with a poster. The Slim Reaper, that is a pretty kick-ass nickname. Coming to the cage for the second time, making the walk in the NFC. There you see him. Brimming with confidence under O.C. Abenwa, who we will see tonight in the main event. Gotta love his corner coming out with a jiu-jitsu shirt for the Muay Thai fight, baby. And then, of course, you got Amir Dadovich in his corner. Amir Dadovich, a fantastic striker. A lot of wars fought in both Muay Thai and MMA, including here in the NFC. Xavier Jones will hold a very distinct height advantage. You can see him right there, the Slim Reaper, six foot three. So Jacob Shaptis will be giving up a good amount of reach here in this Muay Thai bout. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got three two minute rounds between Jacob Shaptis and Xavier Jones. Here we go, Shaptis in the black, Jones in the orange. Big head kick off the rip. Multiple in a row. Very, very aggressive as a Slim Reaper. I'm sure he watched tape and he's prepared. He knows Shaptis likes to bring it, so he said, you know what, I'm gonna bring it first. Yeah, like we said, usually quick to break up clinches, but when you're active like this, throwing knees constantly, there's nothing that you can do to break this up because he's staying active. Man, he is relentless here with his pressure. Referee Blake Rice close to halting the action, giving an eight count. Well, I think Xavier Jones thinks he won. So does the DJ. So does everyone else. I this don't know battle what is doing. not over. This is an eight count. A little confusion here amongst everyone that's not me, you, and Blake Rice. Yeah. And Amir Dodovic, who's screaming in the corner over there. Yeah. And so this is the issue though, having multiple events, you gotta make sure that all the refs and everything are on the same page, because you got, wow. Keeping the pressure up is the Slim Reaper, nonstop. 
Man, this pace is insane. If he can keep this up. Shoptis needs to grab a hold of a clinch here. Grab the unders, grab the waist. This space is killing him. Jacob doesn't necessarily seem hurt as he is just overwhelmed by the- Wow, what a shuffle. <laughs> that was a huge hook. The variety of attacks that- Let's see if that backflip tired him out or all the 100 knees. Nice straights. Oof, desperation overhand from Shop Tees. I don't think he's ever been overwhelmed like that. Yeah, and he's staying tough, man. I mean, let's let's see once his pace slows right now if he can kind of settle into his own. Xavier's got to be careful lunging into these shots like this. Shop Tees only needs one big right hand. Shaptees seems recovered, but he's he's throwing that overhand. That seems to be the definition of a 10-8 round there. So, wow, Slim Reaper hands on his knees, very tired. I would be too. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is going on round number two of our match between Jacob Shaptees and Xavier Jones. Just a friendly reminder, everybody. This is amateur Muay Thai with 10-ounce gloves. We have three two-minute rounds, and there is a standing 10 count. We had a knockdown that round. Yes, and if you get a 10 count, that means that you just lost. Make sponsor Perimeter Roofing. Make sure you hop on over to PerimeterRoofing.com for all your roofing needs. You just heard the lovely Kimberly Sargent. Perimeter Roofing, not only our sponsor, but I've used them as well. If you just got hammered by all that insane rain the last couple days, hit them up. Perimeter Roofing, get a free quote. They even get yourself a free roof. Perimeter roofing under uh, the massive Todd Price. Here we go. Let's see if the Slim Reaper can. He's motioning to Blake Grice. Maybe he doesn't have a cup. His cups slide out. A la, what, seven, eight years ago when we had a cup malfunction that fell out multiple times in the middle of a fight. Uh, I know exactly what referee Blake Grice said. He's like, I'm not fixing that. Whoa. Say Similar forward pressure here by the Slim Reaper. A little less activity. Oh, nice kick. If you're Jacob Shaptis and you have this kind of height disadvantage, you really need to move the head to get inside. Yeah, That's why, right there. It's not often Jacob Shaptis is at a height disadvantage, but. He's, he's definitely settling in here. You didn't expect the Reaper to be able to keep up that crazy pace from the first round. No. He's got to get active, though. What a beautiful step through cross. Oh, beautiful right hand. Slips to the outside. Nice by Jacob Shopteves. Man, he's, start, he's eating just about every one of those head kicks, whether it be the foot or the shin. He's... Oy. That's what I talked about with the Reaper. He's got to be careful walking in. He's eating a couple punches now. Ooh, nice. Jacob Shoptees with the pressure. Let's well, see what he's got here. He's got Slim Reaper on the back ropes. The cage. Shopti's bloodied up. And here comes Slim Reaper with the clinch. Looking like he's trying to buy some time, get, get his breath. There's absolutely an I need a breather clinch. Yeah, I don't blame him. 10 second clocker. Here we go. Oh, wow, Jacob Shopti's. Big comeback round for wow. Jacob. And this fight is an absolute burner. NFC fight, make sure you log on to NFCfighting.com and check out NFC 166. Jacob Coming certainly up Friday, June 21st, the fresher fighter. Live at the battery. Yeah, you got two two-minute rounds, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're going at this kind of pace, you're not only throwing, but you're being hit with these bombs on top of just the general nerves of fighting in front of a room full of people. It can wind you really quickly. 
Yeah, just the body language in the corners. I see Jacob chopped his chest up, hands up, and then you got the Slim Reaper over there with his hands on his knees, head down. This should be an interesting round three here. I'm very, very intrigued to see how this is going to play out. Round two, a huge momentum shifter after it looked like it might be over in the first minute. Chaptis just landed some bombs with those overhands and hooks. And the Reaper really on wobbly legs. You see him not in a hurry to get off that stool. Pacey, a beautiful venue here, Monday Night Garage off Lee Street. We're in South Atlanta. Round number three. As good of a round as that was, Zag, you know that first round was a 10-8, so Shoptis is going to have to win this one, too. Yeah. If he keeps coming out like that, he could get a knockdown of his own, but we'll see. You're seeing the Reaper with some good straight line punches, but he's not. there's no snap on these punches. He's falling into them, so it really serves as more of a push. There's Jacob going, starting to use his kicks a little bit more. Smart move by him, nice push kick. Big high kick by Shoptees there. This is how you know you've got a winded opponent. He's blocking the head kick and not even attempting to retaliate. No counters. And now he looks up at the clock. Oh, nice shots there by Shoptees. Responded by Slim Reaper with a straight of his own. It feels like every fight we see Jacob Shoptees is just an absolute battle. Ooh. Wow, big shot. Yeah, Reaper's got to be careful following. If you, if you do that, you have to do it quick, or you're really opening yourself to counters. Both these guys got to know one minute and change left. They got to step on the gas pedal here. Jacob does to get the fight, given the 10-8 first round. Some really good head Beautiful. movement on display. Oh, straight rights. Jacob can stay down the middle with that right and stop looping after his first punch lands. He might have himself. Oh, Reaper keeps looking up at the clock. That's the third time I've seen him clock check. Ten seconds here. Jacob's got to put his foot on the gas pedal here. At best, he could get a draw. Oh, nice shot over the wow. top. Wow. What a scrap. Yeah, this, this could very well be a draw here. You see the nose, when we get the camera on, Shop T, so you see the nose, just a bloody mess. Doesn't look broken, he just caught one flush. <laughs> Man, poor Slim Reaper's over there. Oh, Gasping yeah. for air, but. There's a deficit of oxygen in this room right now, <laughs> just because the Reaper is sucking it all in. <laughs> I mean, he came out just guns blazing in that first round. What a battle between these two guys, and what could absolutely be a draw. And that's just part of the process, learning how to pace yourself, learning how to compose. You see Jacob Schopp, he's getting in the cage as much as he can, which goes a long way for settling the nerves and making this feel like just another day at the office. It's hard to get nervous doing something when you do it all the time. Here you see the third and final round. Shoptees just backing Xavier up against the fence with those big hooks. Oy, and that's the Reaper falling into his punches, and he paid for it. Great head movement on display. Good counter cross. What a comeback for Jacob Shoptees after a really rough first round. And once again, we have a long deliberation, which means this one should be close.
ladies and gentlemen. Before I read the decision, can y'all make some noise for these two warriors? Great fight on display. We have a majority decision, which means one judge scored this competition a draw, and the other judges scored this competition for your winner. The Slim Reaper, Xavier Jones. There you go, Xavier Jones. I would love to see which rounds they gave to who. It is entirely possible, although it doesn't happen very often, that you could have had a 10-7 because it was so one-sided, plus you had a standing eight count. It's really not supposed to, supposed to be 10-8. Yeah, I'm not sure. Very interesting. Two and three, I thought, were pretty clearly shot tees, but... You know, again, boxing doesn't doesn't favor as heavily, but when you're landing these big overhands and hooks and straight crosses, compared to nothing, regardless, the Slim Reaper picking up a very hard-fought victory here. And if he can fill his lungs with some oxygen, get a little water, we'll catch an interview with him and Kim. <laughs> Giving him the stool for the picture. That man is tired. <laughs> that could be a cool picture. I haven't seen that. Uh, oh, no, this is the interview. All right. He may not make it through this interview. Okay, we're going to let him sit during this. Cut the music. We're going to let him sit during this interview because I don't want him fainting on me. I don't want to miss and not catch him. But congratulations are in order. I know after that first knockdown, you thought you had won. I think you forgot you were in amateur rules. Is that what's going through your mind? Yeah, low key. After, uh, you know, he waved his arms, I assumed that I won. So I kind of did too much. Ooh, but that's really about it. And actually, well, first of all, I'd like to dedicate this fight to somebody. My mother right there in the purple. Without her, I wouldn't be fighting to, to this day. And 20 years ago, she, they said that she would die to lupus. So every day, I push forward knowing that she had me when she really didn't have to. I wanted to thank her. So you're fighting for her. We'll definitely clap it up for her. He's fighting for Lupus. Well, I know you're exhausted. We're not going to let this go on too long. I don't think you're doing so well. But you guys, give it up. Clap it up for Xavier Jones. <laughs>